In this video, I'll show you how to import products to WooCommerce for free. Let's get straight into it. So for example, I'll show you how to bulk upload your files into your WooCommerce store without the need of any additional plugins. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so on our demo site, we've got no products currently. And the best way to start, I think, is to go ahead and actually import the WooCommerce demo product template, download that template, and then go ahead and insert your data into that particular template. So to do that, we'll click start import, and then we'll click on advance. And I'll leave this link um, in the description below. By default, whenever you install um, WooCommerce, it actually includes some sample products in which you can use, all right? And this is just the location path to that particular sample product. So as I said, I'll leave the details in the description below. All right, so let's just click continue. And here we can sort out our field mapping. All right, so all this should be accurate. So we'll just click run import. Okay, and now we can view our products. And this is our product. So we've got a few different product type. We've got simple products, for example, this cap, we only sell it in one size. And then we've got variable products such as this t shirt here, whereas we can have like a blue, red and a different size and so on. All right, this is a good starting point because it includes a variety variety of different product types. So let's go ahead and export it so we can add our product information. So let's hit export. Okay, we want to export all columns. To export all the custom meta information is up to you. I'm just going to leave it as default for now. So let's just hit generate and that's exported our products fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google Sheets. You can use Excel or whatever um, program you prefer. So let's just hit file and then we'll click import. Let's go upload and then I'm just going to select the file which has just been downloaded one thing to note as well the files always in a dot csv format all right so let's go ahead and import this okay perfect so here we've got information such as our product id we can see the product type so this is a variable product a simple product and so on we've got the SKU here we've got the product name and it's also been published we've got the short description the long description for a few key things you might be interested in is the price so we've got the regular price here we've got the category tags and so on and what i usually hear a lot of users asking about is how do you actually upload custom images with the products and this is how you do it so first you just need to make sure that the image is located either on your website so for example if i've just created a new website maybe on the uploads folder i'll create a dedicated um, folder for my images and then you just make sure you upload the images there and for this section here we'll just enter in that image location all right and you just need to make sure you do that for all the different products in which you're uploading so it's just a good starting point to get familiar with how the data has actually been displayed okay so let's actually quickly change this particular product here so the product name is v-neck t-shirt so i'm just going to name this let's put test in front of it just so we know and um, this is what we've edited okay let's change the SKU code all right so i'm going to change the category to our accessories category I'm going to add a new attribute, let's say orange. Okay, and that looks fine. So let's actually export this. So when we're exporting it, so I'll go download and then CSV, just make sure you select the CSV format. Okay, so that's downloaded fine. So now let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's go products and then we'll go import and then we just select the csv file in which we've just downloaded which is here since we actually updated that v-neck t-shirt i'm going to select this option here where it says if the product id matches or if the SKU code matches then we need to update that particular product okay so i'm just going to click on continue if you've added any extra column then here you can map the field to the appropriate setting all right so let's hit run importer Okay, and it said it's been updated fine. For our V-neck t-shirt, we've actually renamed it to Test V-neck, and we also updated the SKU code as well. And there should also be an extra attribute for the color okay so when we go color here we can see this orange attribute so this is just a quick and simple way to bulk upload your products to your woocommerce store this is useful as well if you want to move products from one woocommerce store to another woocommerce store so it's dead simple you just export a product like what we've done in the beginning and then go ahead and import it onto the new site if you wanted more advanced import or export product options then you might want to check out a dedicated import or exporter plugin i'll leave a link in the description below to a list of a few um, that you might want to consider like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in a comment box